my results today made a palindrome. It's quite nice. <laughs> All right, so I only have a few notes for this one, so let's go over those. We first one. 18,000 points in all. Um, east, one dash, actually, wrong area. Wait, which area is right? Oh, there we go. East, one dash, zero, fourth turn, and twelfth turn. So, right here, I was wondering, should I drop the Dora, or should I keep up with all the things that I have? Um, hmm. So, looking at my blocks that I have, I got one, two, three, potentially four, five, and then, like, a bit of Tatsu over right here. Um, so if I do draw the... drop the nine, I lose the door up, but what do I gain from everything else? If I keep around the two, three, three, four shape, I can get a one, two, four, five. If I get keep around this Ariyaman shape, I can get a five and an eight. I can also get a four as well and use uh, my own wind. Um... And with this shape right here, I can use the 2, 4, 5. Um, but I guess in this case, maybe it is slightly better to drop the 4 mon here. Because the only thing I lose right there is the 4 mon. Um, even if I went to call this, I technically could still potentially uh, use this as my final shape uh, for a quick open hand. If that does actually become the case. But... Hmm. I don't know. How worth is it to keep a Dora Tonki here? Like, the only real use we get out of this that we'd be happy with is the other nine so, which is only three of those tiles. Um, in comparison, if I draw, let's say, the south, then I'm instantly kind of happy with uh, the Formon, because that will like lock in as a pair right there. And then I have, like, Kutsuki Tenpai on, like, the sevens and the Nakabukure shape. Um, so that's, like, really good. Um, or, hmm. Actually, would I do that? Yeah, I would, because, uh, this shape is really good for Kutsuki as well. Um, so that'd probably be the best thing. So, yeah, the four has some good benefit right there. And especially if I want to open up this hand really quickly. So, yeah, I guess I should drop the door right here. It's only really sad if... I draw another. And then of course you will, because the game is like testing your mental prowess. It's like, alright, do you think you made the right choice? And you're like, yes! And the game is saying to you, are you sure you made the right choice? <laughs> and and you, you reply, yes. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think I like all the shapes over there, um, aside from uh, oh, a lot better than the lone door right here. If we weren't playing Red Dora Mahjong, mm, maybe throw out the four. But in Red Dora Mahjong, speed and shape um, beat out Yaku in most cases. So, next up, 12th turn. Ricci on the field. Um, Toyman is pushing, what do I do? Hmm. Actually, are both of them pushing? Eight was a safe tile, nine was like Matagi, nine was the safe tile right there, nine pin was iffy. Two pin right there, yeah, so they're probably... Closer to Senpai. Uh, this person is still a bit strange, though, because they simulated all that, so they could have something or they could not. We don't have enough information right there. Um, either way, I should probably be defending against uh, both threats. Oh, I think this was just a, a notice that I just missed the Tumon here. Because I had the South that I was keeping just in case, um, but I'm like, oh, I ran out of like safe tiles for both players. Um, but they didn't call the Tumon right there, so the Tumon's probably safe for them. Uh, so I should have dropped the Tumon here. I didn't want to drop the three mon, especially with them opening up, uh, because them waiting on a uh, safe tile for the Ricci person is kind of expected. Um, well, not expected, but if they like had a choice between a wait um, that was like a random tile and a wait that was waiting on a safe tile, they would choose the wait on the safe tile because that'll have a higher win rate here. 
All right. Uh, next up, East three zero. Fifth turn. Only six turns here. Uh, what do I drop? So I could drop the tune. I can drop one mon or five mon. Uh, I have currently one, two blocks, potentially three, maybe four blocks. Uh, but ideally, I want to make this like one block because having both of these is kind of bad. Um, and so then I need to build another block over here. If I do get a three mon, I'd be kind of happy because it's the Dora. And if I get a two mon, I'm not that sad because hey, Dora three, even if I'm a Dora two, even if I have that. Um, so it's still early on, and Toy Man's going for something strange, so I think I should probably drop Tune here. I think in the game I dropped one mon, and that was like a note to myself saying, hey, maybe you shouldn't. Or maybe I... Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, I think that's good. Oh, oh, this is the one I was wondering about. Okay, that's why I put it as that turn. Um... Yeah. <laughs> what do I do here? Uh, so now I have, like, technically a pair. With, like, one, two, three, four blocks. And I was like, mm, yeah, probably drop the one mon, because, like, person called right there. Um, I don't know what it could be. It could probably just be Yakuhai or maybe Sandora. Um, yeah. And so this is a question of, do I keep the 9 around or do I keep the 1 around? Um, if I get the 3, I can still use with the 5, so it's not that much backslash, or back, um, backslash? No. Backfire. Uh, whereas if I keep this and I get an 8, that's like a really good shape. So I should probably drop the 1 here. Plus I'm already going to be down to like, pretty close, uh, like 1 shot 10 soon. And so when that happens, I can't keep both the 1 and the 5 anyway. Um, and ideally I want to end up on a good weight as well, so this probably gives a little bit better chance for that. And I can still draw the 6 right here on this 5, so yeah, I think the 1 is probably good here. The only thing I really lose is the Ryankan, but that's kind of whatever. I could even open up with this hand with Tanya Dora 3, um, if I do get that, so yeah. 1 Mon is pretty unnecessary. Pipe. Next up... South, 2-2. Two two. That's 2-0. Two <laughs> Seventh turn. Um, yeah, uh, this is a little bit missed uh, by me. So I didn't want to go for, like, Richie or anything at this point, because I have, like, a really nice lead. Um, and, like, oh, I want to go for Pinfu, but I locked in on that shape too much, because uh, if I drop four here and I do happen to get into Tempai, I'll just take Tempai. And if I Tsumo, great. Um, but instead, I think I dropped the 9 here, where now if I get Tempai, it's on a 3 as opposed on, on a 7, as opposed to a 3-6. So yeah, uh, I should drop 4 right there. That's what happens when you um, look at a hand from far off, and you're like, ooh, I'm gonna go for this, and later on you're still thinking that, even though things have changed. Just like people. Alright... Uh, next up, South 3 1, third turn. What do I got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I was wondering, should I keep the 6 mon just in case I draw the 5 mon? Or should I uh, throw the 6 and keep the 9? Um, because it's this early on. And because everyone looks kind of dead right now, I mean, it's the, only the third turn, so I think probably just going for greed right now, or not greed, but shape improvement is better than holding on to a semi, not actually a safe tile. So yeah, I think throwing the nine right here is probably better. In which case, yeah, that's good. Um, I still like that I, yeah, this last turn I had a choice between the Dora shape or the shape. This shape has more improvements, because if I get an 8, I get a double side weight. If I get a six, or a 4, I get a double side weight. And this one is also harder to come out, because, like, Dora. Um, especially, like, these two people, they kind of, like, would like that, because even if they win a hand, that's great. But if they happen to have Dora in their hand, then they can potentially even go into second. 
Um, so getting rid of this shape right now over this shape I think is okay. And of course I want to keep both my pairs because if I pull on this I'm instantly in tempi. So yeah, I think I should probably drop 9 here instead of the 5, or instead of the 6, just in case I draw the 5. Boom. And luckily it came out. Wow. It's technically almost like Nakazuji. Alright. And yeah, that's most of the notes that I had. Let's check the two D-Lens real quick as well. Regret nothing. Yeah. This is a regret nothing reach. It's like you have two Dora, you're waiting on the eight, so even if a person calls a couple times and runs you afterwards, no regrets. If you see the situation 100%, just, yeah, go for it easily. Um, and this one right here, this was surprising. So I got to Tempai. Um, which is good, because if I can get it, I want to wipe out, um, the dealer's, like, uh, the dealership and move the game over to South 4. Um, currently the dealer dropped the Haku, and there's a Haku right here. So, unless they're, like, insane maniac, blah, um, they're probably not waiting on the, uh, they don't have any of the regular door in their hands. Uh, that being said, what can they have? There's one red right here, so technically they could have, you know, a couple red in their hand. Um, so yeah, most likely if they do have a red, it's probably only one. Um, using both of them is kind of hard. Uh, they dropped a 2 early on, and they dropped a 7 right here, so the one four, uh, the four seven weights unlikely. Um, and then also because this was dropped early, the one four weight is unlikely as well. Or I'm sorry, the one weight is unlikely as well. So it's kind of like a weird, like Nakasuji right here, uh, where you have early Montagi, which is uh, basically people won't normally discard from a two two three shape early on, um, because they want to increase their chances to get into Tempai. Um, and then seven came out later, so that gets rid of the four seven. So the only way they can be waiting on this, and especially since I have three of them. Uh, is either a single tile tanki, which doesn't make much sense, especially since they dropped the Dora, um, or with a 3-5 weight. So, yeah. I think that's probably worth it, especially in this case, um, where we can t potentially take it away, and even if we do deal in, at most, probably like 2,900. Oh. Unfortunately for me, they locked in this pair really early on. <laughs> Like, really early on. Or that Tatsu. Or they didn't. No, they didn't. They just got really unlucky. Or they just got really lucky later on. What? That's unfortunate. That's actually a kind of an interesting trap, though, if you can utilize that. And then they draw the three. Ah, oh, that's and then they draw the seven. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so sad. But yeah, considering the board state, I probably would sit, make the same decision again. Uh, considering I can win a quick hand, take away their dealership, and even if I deal in, it's not that much. Ah, oh, that's fun. <laughs> All right. So, that's all the notes I got for today. Ha ha ha. Thanks for watching. And I'll be streaming again some tomorrow before I run off to Berkeley Mahjong. So, see you then.